and congenitable inclusion cyst. These are thin walled benign cystic lesions lined with a non keratinizing epithelium containing serous fluid. Etiology of this condition Primary congenital inclusion cysts are congenital. Secondary cysts can be spontaneous or most commonly due to inflammatory conditions of the congenital, such as pterygium, pingiculitis, chronic keratoconjunctivitis, and biogenic granuloma, or due to ocular trauma or post surgery, such as cataract, strabismus, enucleation, or a scleral buccal placement. They are usually asymptomatic but they can cause cosmetic problem and foreign body sensation and dry eye due to unstable tear film. Signs of this condition we can look for a progressive increase in cyst size and the proptosis, ocular motility restriction and decreased visual acuity in some cases. Investigation Ultrasound biomicroscopy and anterior segment OCT will help us to know the depth of the cyst. Differential diagnosis of this condition, this is divided into two conditions like benign and pre-malignant. Benign conditions are congenital papilloma, papilloma of caruncle, congenital pseudoepitheliomatous hyperplasia, keratoacanthoma, congenital hereditary benign intraepithelial dyskeratosis, congenital dacryodenoma, lacrimal gland dacryopsis, epithelial inclusion cyst. Pre-malignant conditions are actinic keratosis, congenital intraepithelial neoplasia. Treatment of this condition, initially topical steroids will be prescribed. If it is not getting better with the topical steroids, surgical intervention may be needed. Click, clap,